Book of Genesis chapter 13 Abram and Lot separate. So Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him, into the Negev. Now Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver and in gold, and he journeyed on from the, ne from the Negev as far as Bethel to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and I, to the place where he had made an altar at the first. And there Abram called upon the name of the Lord. And Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support both of them dwelling together. For their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. At that time the Canaanites and the Perizzites were dwelling in the land. Then Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife between you and me and between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, for we are kinsmen. Is not the whole land before you? Separate, separate yourself from me. If you take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you take the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and saw that the Jordan Valley was, very, was well watered everywhere like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt in the direction of Zoar. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself all the Jordan Valley, and Lot journeyed east. Thus they separated from each other. Abram settled in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the valley and moved his tent as far as Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were wicked, great sinners against the Lord. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had separated from him, Lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land that you see I will give to you and to your offspring forever. I will make your offspring as the dust of the earth, so that if one can count the dust of the earth, your offspring can also, also can be counted. Arise, walk through the length and the breadth of the land, for I will give it to you. So Abram moved his tent and came and settled by the oaks of Mamre which are at Hebron, and there he built an altar to the Lord. So, again in the story of Abraham, we see that God is going to bless Abraham, right? And he tells Abraham straight up here that he's going to make Abraham's offspring, well, Abram right now, he's going to make Abram's offspring as the dust of the earth so that if one can count the dust of the earth your offspring can also be counted essentially saying that you know the the connection that Abram and the Lord have and like the sort of birthplace of Christianity will descend with Abram's offspring and it will be there will be so many Christians that they can't be counted. Now, that's a very good thing, obviously, like in terms of if you're a Christian, obviously, that's going to be a good thing. So that's sort of God's promise to Abraham. We also see that Abram and Lot are trying their best to not to get into conflict which is probably pleasing to the Lord because you know the the Lord doesn't like uh, human conflict We also get the uh, prelude to what happens to Gomorrah and Sodom when the Lord is, well, the Lord does destroy them. And it says here, uh, and Lot lifted up his eyes and saw that the Jordan Valley was very well watered everywhere like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt in the direction of Zoar. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So we get like that little prelude to that story in the Bible. And uh, yeah. 
that's all I can really say for this chapter. Because, like, just nothing's really clicking too deep in my brain right now. So, that's everything I have to say, right? So, yeah. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is. Have a blessed day.